Hi, this is Jim Allswager, Futures Trading Specialist with MicroQuant and ValueCharts.com. Today is July 1st, 2013, and this is the trading room trade of the day. Now, this morning we had a mixed bag of results uh, where we had a couple losing trades and we had a few winners. Uh, we did play a news event and went long in the Dow and did well with that one. We also shorted soybeans for about $400 a contract using MQ indicators. But the trade of the day is one that I actually got in myself and called out in the trading room. And I can't emphasize this one enough. This is a 60 minute chart of gold or GC on the trade station symbols. And this is something I've been pointing out quite a bit lately and even made another video on it the other day. But gold on your time charts, starting from probably the 15 minute chart up to about the hourly chart, what you need to do is, is uh, watch for these consolidation patterns. Typically they're showing up as wedges or triangles. Um, and then gold is really breaking from these and doing quite well. You can see a couple days last week we had a, a wedge pattern here where uh, gold broke down and you could have done really well on that. And then right here, you can see the same thing. Maybe I can help us out a little bit here by identifying these a little bit better. There's one pattern right there. And here is another break of a similar wedge pattern right here where you can see it broke the up uh, downward trend line and did quite well. And then today in our trading room, I pointed out that we were forming another wedge pattern uh, in gold on a 60 minute chart and I did get into trade myself and I put in a trailing stop loss simply because MQ momentum down here was showing us somewhat of a bearish divergence so I thought if in this case if gold was going to break the pattern to the long side here it didn't look like there was a lot of momentum behind it so I wanted to protect my capital which is a good thing so I put in a trailing stop and uh, price came back enough that it actually took me out of the trade, uh, came back inside the trend line just a little bit, but then continued onward and upward. So re the reality is, depending how you traded gold today on this particular pattern breakout, you could have done really, really well. I do know a couple of our trading room uh, customers did go long off this pattern and you could have made around close to $2,000 a contract from the entry to the high that you see right here. So again, I can't emphasize enough that if you want to find some good trades in gold, pull up your time charts, 15 minute, 30 minute, 60 minute, watch for these consolidation wedge patterns and get ready to play the break. Uh, one more note to add to this is I actually did bracket this trade so I had a long entry above this trend line and a short entry below the lower trend line it was an OCO order so as soon as we got in one uh, we got out the other so if I wouldn't have used a trailing stop uh, actually it would have been a really good trade but some of the traders in our trading room were able to take advantage of it and that's it for the trading room trade of the day for our futures trading room on July 1st 2013 Remember to manage yourself, manage your emotions, and then manage your trades, and have a great day. Okay, if you have any more interest or would like to find out more about us, MicroQuant, or the MQ Indicators, feel free to visit us at YouTube. And also, we also have an operating options trading room at this point in time, and coming soon will be our Forex and Equities trading room. We'd love to have you. Check us out. Remember, manage yourself always, manage your emotions, and then manage your trades. Have a great day.